This is a dream come true. This is a Cinderella story, Shaquem Griffin said. This guy is a Seattle Seahawks linebacker and is out to prove he's more than an inspirational player. We all know that the odds of making it in the NFL are long, and just nine high school football players out of every 10,000 will get drafted by a pro team. But Griffin aced it and became the first one-handed player in the modern era of the NFL. Let's see who this NFL player with one hand is and take a deep dive into his story. Shaquem Griffin, a 6-foot, 227-pound linebacker for the Seattle Seahawks, was born with amniotic band syndrome, a congenital disorder that disrupted the development of the fingers on his left hand. To speak more scientifically, this syndrome is a rare birth defect in which bands of tissue inside the sac of fluid that surrounds a baby in the womb tangle around the baby's body, causing injury. This happens when there's a rupture in the inside sac, also known as the amnion. If left untreated, the amniotic bands wrap tighter around the affected limbs or body parts, which can lead to limb deformity, webbed toes or fingers, or defects of the head, face, or spine. And in the case of this legendary player, it appeared to be his left hand. Every time the hand banged on his bed frame or brushed against his twin brother, streaks of pain burned through his body. When he was four years old, the hand was amputated. He played football and baseball and ran track anyway, and he earned a scholarship to the University of Central Florida. He was named 2016 American Athletic Conference Defensive Player of the Year anyway. His eye-popping stats in the 2018 NFL Combine caught the eye of the Seahawks, who chose him in the fifth round of that spring's player draft. He reunited with his brother, second-year cornerback Shaquille Griffin, on Seattle's active roster anyway. He told his story, and in doing so, Shaquem became much more than an anonymous fifth-round pick he became a symbol for countless kids subjected to similar circumstances. He became a running, tackling, pass-rushing personification of perseverance. He became the unlikely centerpiece of Nike and Gillette's nationwide commercial campaigns. He became an example. I never felt that way, Shaquem said of the pressure associated with this spotlight. I do what I do. I live my life the way I've been living it. I haven't changed anything. A lot of people say, do you feel a lot of pressure? There's not that much pressure, to be honest. You meet kids, you talk to people and tell your story. If you're a person who likes helping people, you'll never be overwhelmed with all these people you want to help. I don't feel like I'm overwhelmed from meeting people and telling my story over and over again. I'm not overwhelmed because that's something I want to do. That's something I've always wanted to do. If that's my way of giving back, if that's my way of helping others, then that's what I'll do. In his letter to NFL general managers on the Players' Tribune, he wrote, I'm not going to get into an explanation of the condition I was born with that prevented the fingers on my left hand from fully developing, or talk about the time when I was four years old and I tried to cut my own fingers off with a kitchen knife because I was in constant pain, or about when I got my left hand amputated shortly after. That's stuff you probably already know about anyway, and if you don't, you can Google it. The story's out there, and it's not some sob story or anything like that. It's not even a sad story, at least not to me. When Griffin came to the NFL scouting combine in Indianapolis, he knew all eyes were on him. So the taskmaster did what he's always done, put in the work to make the doubters adjust their mindset about what's possible. So many people are going to have doubts about what I can do, and obviously it started at the bench press. Griffin said a few hours after he wowed general managers and fellow players by completing 20 reps in the 225-pound bench press with a prosthetic device clamped to the weight bar. Some people think I can do three. Some people think I can do five. Some people didn't think I could do the bench press. But I did it and competed with everybody else and did 20. And that's just one step closer to everything I need to accomplish. There's going to be a lot more doubters saying what I can't do, and I'm ready to prove them wrong. This guy is unbelievably inspirational. He believes that there's nothing he can't do. What could be the key to success if not self-belief? And Griffin knows that pretty well. I know what I can do, and the one thing I can do is go out there and make sure I do it. The reason I'm so excited to be able to prove so many people wrong is a lot of people see somebody who has one hand instead of two, and they think it's different or it doesn't make sense. Oh, he has one hand. How can you play football? Well, what if I say, you have two hands, how can you play football? At the end of the day, you have to show what you can do. You can't set limits on what you can do, whether you have two hands or 30 hands. Show me what you can do and we'll go from there. 
Don't set limits for me, because when I wake up in the morning and I brush my teeth and I look at myself in the mirror, it's only me that I see in the mirror. I'm not going to see anybody else in the mirror. That's how I live day by day. When I look in the mirror, it's up to me to accomplish everything I want out of life, he says. Since being drafted onto the team, he's made solid contributions every time he gets on the field. When he's not on the active roster, Shaquem helps out during practices, but his main objective is to serve others just like him. Shaquem wants others to know that even if they have limitations, it shouldn't dictate your life and what your dreams are. The families who meet Shaquem are grateful there's someone in the spotlight with a disability. It shows them that even though their child may have limitations, this does not curb their greatness. Playing in the NFL with only one hand is a huge inspiration for the children and parents of those with the same obstacles. And that's exactly what Shaquem hopes for, that others can look at him, see how hard he's worked and still achieved his dream, even without a left hand. He continues to defy all the odds by making it to the NFL with just one hand, but he thinks he's a better player because of it. During one interview, he had an interesting response when asked how good he'd be if he had both hands. I probably wouldn't be that good, he said. I thought about it. I was like, if I had two hands, I don't think I'd be as good as I am now. I think me having one hand made me work even harder than many other people. I feel like if you only put in one hour, I probably need to put in an hour and 30 minutes, or I need to put in two hours. Every day, he's doing something for the first time, attending a hockey game, sitting courtside at a basketball game, kicking it with Hulk Hogan and Charlie Sheen and Dennis Rodman earlier this day. NFL Twitter nearly spontaneously combusted when Griffin ran that 4.38 in the 40-yard dash, the likes of J.J. Watt, Deion Sanders, and Ryan Shazier all showering him with love. He is universally beloved, a celebrity, the prospect who slew adversity to slay all prospects who slew adversity. His jersey will fly off the shelf the second it hits the shelf. But here's the thing, Shaquem Griffin does not want to be anyone's feel-good story. For me, I know it's more than a feel-good story, he says. It seems like that to everybody else. But I want everybody to see me as a football player. I've been doing it for so long. It's not like I don't know what I'm doing. I knew I had to work twice as hard as everybody else just to make a name for myself and show everybody that I can really be a ball player. It's going to be like that at the next level. I can't get comfortable. I can't feel that I did enough to get where I'm at, he says. He added that people say that he is a feel-good story, but he sees himself as just a guy who plays football. What do you think about this amazing guy? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.